Registrar of the National Examination Council, Professor Charles Wakwe, said this while fielding questions from journalists in Abuja. He knows that while NECO, as an agency of government, has to remit revenue to the federal government coffers, it has a responsibility of ensuring standards in its operations in preparing the Nigerian children for their academical progressions, especially towards tertiary institutions. The first point of God was for me to remit a good chunk of that you know, to federation account, okay, gladly. But we still have, okay, because of the way we operate, we also owe a lot of people who provide services for us as well, whom we've kept in the lodge all this, all this while. So it's just strike a balance and ensure that a bunch of it goes to federation account. We also have to, okay, pay those who have been hounding us, okay, you know, to, to pay for the services they you know, render to us. Explaining some of the measures taken to boost the council's funding, the registrar says the singular act of connecting the council, national secretariat, to the national grid for power supply has significantly dropped its spending on purchase of diesels to power electricity in the national secretariat of the council. I, I save as much as um, you know, three hundred fifty thousand. Okay, in uh, every, yes, uh, yes, every every month. Um, one to six weeks, you know, the, you know, because we're connected to the national grid. And cumulatively, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yes. According to the professor, reaching out to the various state governments that are owing the council from previous examination, but that give the council the confidence of doing better in serving the people following the various commitments that these respective state governments have made. Osaiti Osadebame, Court TV News, Abuja.